someone wrote in and said that they'd like to he'd like to go to a swingers club he want to experience it but he's a single male and he wants to know how to get sponsored so he can go do you have any suggestions well when you say sponsored it makes it sound like it's a 12-step program <laughs> so i'm just saying <laughs> i don't know if swinging is like that um or approved or approved he wants to he so okay here's the quick swinger 101 if you don't know Swinging is a time of a type of non-monogamy where people have consensual sex with multiple people or can because you can be a swinger and not have sex with anybody. You just identify as a swinger. Right. So it can, it can get more complicated. But basically, let's say that that you're you're a swinger. That means you like having sex with other people who may or may not be in relationships. And usually because swinging is kind of heteronormative in that it's male female couples mm -hmm. where the women are usually bisexual um, and the men are usually not bisexual um, that's how it used to be and it still is in, in some situations and it's a little bit more flexy these days because people are in modern relationships <laughs> um, but for the most part it's couples based non consensual non monogamy mm -hmm. where people go to events or to um, places like a swing club swinger event or a swingers club to meet other like-minded people for possibly playing or just socializing. You get to make friends and maybe you hang out with them another time and maybe that's sexual or maybe there's there's sexuality stuff that happens at the event. All that stuff is just basically to give you a rundown on swinging. And this is Reed Mahalka from readaboutsex.com and I'm Kathy Vertilli from the intimacydojo.com. And we were still these people at the beginning of the video, we just forgot to tell you. Um, so the problem or the challenge is if you are a single man, mm -hmm. most swinger events do not allow for single men because they're trying to keep some sort of gender balance. Hypocritically speaking, though, single women, come on in. The more the merrier. <laughs> so if you're a single man mm -hmm. who's a swinger um, or if, you're, if you've been a swinger and in a relationship and then you break up and now you're single can be really challenging to, to find clubs or events that will allow you to come. Well, I looked it up after I got the question. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't go to swingers clubs personally. And I was really surprised that like some nights single women can get in free or $20 for one Or whatever the, yeah. the amount is. And and the single man might be $100 mm -hmm. and a couple might be 50 So it was, it was, I was really surprised at the difference of prices. Yeah. And so if you're in the swing community, this has been going on for for eons, um, but you know, some people get upset about the the weirdness around money and 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 classism, and then you know, equality, all this stuff. That's not what this video is about. <laughs> Strategy for if you're a single man, mm -hmm. um, what I would do is I would email or contact the club or the event, contact the organizers and ask them how you can help, if you can volunteer for the event, how can you be of service and of value mm -hmm. um, so that people who organize these events get to know you and get to know you as a rad, like an awesome person. And then you're not just the single guy anymore, you're like, you're Bob, who always helps us with cleanup. Yeah. And that way you might be able to, to get an invitation and be of service and of value it also helps people not deal with you as a stranger, like you're the, the person no one knows. Mm -hmm. um, so they get to know you socially. Um, if they and, offer classes, attending the classes. Yeah. So that people get to see that you're paying attention to the rules. and Because swinging is, is ultimately about community. It just happens to be a community where sex is allowed. So how can you become a community member mm -hmm. And, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, you know, Bob doesn't have a date, but we love Bob. Bob, do you remember that time that Bob helped us out in that jam with the blah, blah, blah? Like, so that's my best strategy is contact the organizers and, and just let them know, like, hey, you know, I know that I'm single and that's usually not allowed at events, but can I help with the event? Can I be a volunteer and get in or not get into the party? Because I want to get to know you guys so I'm not a stranger. Very different than, you know, dear organizers, I don't have a date, can I come? Yeah. So that's my, that's my best advice around how to be a single guy in the swing community. Other advice is really, you know. 
Well, I, I run some local events that are non-sexual, but people are really, we do cuddle parties and other things where people are touch positive and open to talking about things. So, and I know some people that have, they've gone as a couple to an event just because they wanted to see what it was about. So you might, if you have some friends that are curious about it, some female friends, you could invite them to come along, say, I'll you know, pay your $20 ticket or whatever, or however you want to do it, just so we can check it out together. And mm -hmm. it's kind of nice not to go by yourself the first yeah. time. And you can create like a field trip kind of environment, maybe get a bunch of, you know, go as a group. Yeah. Um, again, if it's just a single guy and you don't have friends to invite, make yourself available and useful to the organizers and to the community itself, and then all of a sudden you're not a stranger. And really this, the no single guy thing has a lot to do with mitigating clunky men in the community sexually and also the, the stranger effect. Mm -hmm. A lot easier to invite somebody that you know well and know is an awesome person than you know, trying to make an exception for somebody that you don't know and you, you don't know how they're going to behave in the space. Yeah. Hope this was useful for you guys. Leave comments below. What are your strategies, theories, advice? Bye.